Will Bitcoin totally skyrocket in July? Today, Xiaogang is constantly initiating new phases in the interpretation of futures markets. Recently, BTC's price has been volatile, like a roller coaster. But if you look at it on a weekly basis, you'll see that it's actually not that bad. And it's still at a relatively high level. Regarding the current driving force, it is claimed to have originated from a piece of news El Salvador will buy 135 million US dollars in Bitcoin and distribute it to its citizens. It will be officially circulated on September 7th. Due of the small quantity of money involved, the influence caused on the market is quite limited. Therefore, following a period of rising prices, the market is now sideways. This trend of neither high nor low has made investors angry. And it's also causing other currencies to consolidate sideways. So, where does BTC go from here? Xiao Gang mentions three points of view in this context. The first is the risk of breaking news. Some analysts believe that the latest negative news has not yet been revealed. And this bad news is expected to be published between the end of June and beginning of July. Just like the British Market Financial Conduct Authority FCA, announced that it would ban cryptocurrency exchanges and carries out regulated business in the United Kingdom or South Korea focuses on cracking down on tax evasion using digital currency. Such explosive news, rather than news on crypto. The basis of this analysis is quite simple. The news is often concentrated, and there are always occasional episodes. The advantage of sending out in a group or concentrated manner is that it is purposefully demonstrated that this is a global aim. Cryptocurrency's encirclement and repression has resulted in a stronger resistance effect. Second, it has had a long-term widespread effect, prohibiting more people from entering the market. Therefore, some current mainstream countries have already announced policy news one after another. Only the United States, Japan and other countries' management policies have yet to be disclosed. If no major news breaks, then the market is likely to reverse in July. Second, from the data on the chain, the difficulty of Bitcoin mining will usher in an adjustment and drop by approximately 21%. This adjustment will occur at the high block, 689,472. This is also the biggest decline in mining difficulty in Bitcoin's history which is closely related to the outflow of regulatory policies in a certain region of Asia. But it also confirms from another aspect that mainstream computing power may be lost from Asia in the future. At the same time, Bitcoin miners who are far away from policy affected areas will receive more mining rewards and deploy more computing power. In this way, after the new external computing power system becomes more mature. Stay away from strict policy areas to avoid excessive influence. And more small countries will recognize Bitcoin and are willing to consider Bitcoin as legal tender. And finally usher in Bitcoin. The biggest benefit is to land and conduct more extensive transactions. And the price will also rise at that time. Third, the confidence of outside investors. Guggenheim Chief Investment Officer Scott Minard said in an interview with CNBC that the possibility of Bitcoin rising to $600,000 per coin still exists. But investors must prepare for further declines before BTC starts to rise again. He said, if Bitcoin falls below the $30,000 area, then the next support level will reach $20,000. Coincidentally, Thomas Farley, former president of the NYSE, also stated that Bitcoin can become a $10 trillion market because Bitcoin will become a new asset class and its price will fluctuate up and down. But in the long run, it will return to the right trend. 
there are more views supporting for Bitcoin and speaking for Bitcoin, all within the past month. So in the face of so many views, what views do you want to share? Welcome to leave your own views in the comment section.